So how could you not jam out to that crazy slap bass line by the Isley Brothers Fight the Power? I mean, I, I spent all day, I started sweating and everything just playing to this song. It's one of my favorite songs to play to. Also a great beginner bass line, slap bass line, funky song to play to. So we're gonna break this down in its entirety. So there's three techniques you need to use to execute this bass line. The first technique you need to understand and learn how to do is just muffling or muting the string. Okay, and I'll show you why. Those three notes when you hit the E in the beginning, they don't ring, they actually are choked. So when you're slapping them and you're using your thumb to go down, you're actually muffling the string to stop it from ringing. All right, that's the first part. The second part or the second technique you need to use or to learn how to use is a pull off. All right, so when we pluck the string, when we go popping the string, we're gonna pull off to the D. So we have E, D, and then the same exact technique, A, G. And we're popping that with our index finger or middle finger, whichever one you choose or feel comfortable with. So pull off. So we're not really using a hammer on, that's the other, that's the opposite side of that. But just a pull off, so your finger needs to be there at the string before that or prior to that. So your finger needs to be on, the index finger needs to be on the D, the note D, before you even get to the E. So my third finger is on the E, on the G string, and my first finger is already on the D, on that G string. So whenever I pull or lift my finger off, it's right there for me. It'll execute that note. Same thing for the A to the G on the D string, seventh fret, fifth fret, all right? Ninth fret, seventh fret, G string. Seventh fret, fifth fret, D string. The third technique you need to use is knowing how to slap. Just using your thumb, going through the string, or even bouncing. I like doing this movement. I usually wouldn't say bounce the string like that, or just hit the string and bounce off of it. But for this type of song, it's just a, can't help it. It's just one of those old school funk songs that you that a lot of the bass players back in the day, you see that bounce, you know, especially when it's a simple bass line that's very simplistic to do and very easy to do. You could just bounce off of it, right? It, it'll feel better, trust me. So you can slap, bounce away from the string. You don't have to go through the string. You can if you want to. Slapping, going through the string, ending on the next string below that. You can do that just as, just as well. So the other notes to this is really just G and A. So we really covered all of the notes, but just the order of them we need to go over. So we have three hits of the E in the beginning. One, two, three. Now another E hit and G and A. So you hit G twice, you hit A twice. I'm hitting the G with my first, my index finger, and then the A with my fourth finger sometimes, or. Uh, I can do it with my ring finger. Uh, it just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Especially in this lower register, as it's, the frets are a little bit more spaced out. So, depending on how comfortable you are. Two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so if we want to slow it down, just to make sure we have the technique right and just make sure it's clean, we can play like this. One, two, three. That's the first part of this slap bass line. Very, very simple, three different notes in just a specific rhythm. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next part where we're doing the pull-offs and the popping with our index or our middle, right? So let's play it from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So it comes in pretty quick, and what I'm doing, I'm using my third finger, like I said before, third index, third index. All right, we're pulling off those notes and that's the rhythm of it. So I have this written out too so you can follow along as well and get the rhythm of it. Two, three, four, boom, 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 Those last two notes are really, it can be a little bit tricky because it comes in pretty fast, okay? So we're gonna count it off again, so just clap it out with me. Two, one, two, 
three, four, pop, 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 pop. Okay, that's the whole entire bass line. Very, very simple. All together. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so just remember the three techniques that you need to use to execute this bass line. The muffling technique, of course, slapping technique and popping technique. And then thirdly, the pull off technique. So those three things combined together would actually help you play this bass line or execute it to that much more potential. And just, you know, you can play it that much better to be able to jam out that much quicker with your friends or if you want to just play to this song or not. Remember, it is the Isley Brothers fight the power if you want to play that song. Super crazy funky song that I love to play. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise like I say all the time. If you guys have any questions and or comments, comment down below in the comment section. I love chopping it up with you guys down there. Also, hit that red subscribe button if you have not already. Also, the, the little bell icon and hit that so you can get notified every single time we upload a lesson on this channel. Last thing, if you have not visited the Bass Nation Academy, if you want to learn more about this, dive in a little bit deeper, please visit down below, I'll have the link down in this, uh, yeah, down in the description below. Uh, I have that link for you, DerekBennett.com. Three day free trial. Check it out for yourself. I won't spend too much time talking about it. Anyway, like I said before, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, precise. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.